and at Ray Bestis, performance, quality and reliability are a part of every product. Hi, I'm Irvin. We're here at Ray's Garage. Today I want to talk to you about some bonding equipment that we've been using. In the past, with our videos that we've done for torque converter bonding, we've had a six inch bonder and that worked pretty well for most of it. When we got into our Allison bonding video, we discovered that we didn't have enough air pressure for the size of the ram that was in the bonder. The good people at TCRS, uh, they allowed us to use this 10 inch bonder, which seems to be a fairly common one nowadays. And that worked out great for the video, had enough capacity and all that. One of the drawbacks of a larger uh, bonder like this is that at the lower pressures, uh, it may at some point in time not engage the rams and you won't be able to bond. They have come up with a device that allows you to go down to the lower pressures and use this bonder and typically that's going to be somewhere below 60 to 65 pounds and this is basically how it works you put your assembly in the bonder it's all ready to go and you close your door and you want to make sure that the pressure on the pressure regulator is higher than that 65 pounds i need to have 42 pounds to bond this one properly to get the proper net facing pressure so I just bring that pressure back up and I switch this valve over to the low side and I can adjust the pressure here. So, as you can see, I'm running right about 42 pounds or so on this one. So, this little add-on is an option. You don't have to have it with your bonder if you're not bonding the small stuff. But if you are also doing small stuff and you don't have a smaller bonder, this is a great addition for your shop. And at Ray Bestis, performance, quality, and reliability are a part of every product.